Hey everyone, today I'm going to do a much overdue video about my blush collection. I have them all spread out on the table here in front of me, and I don't know what's up with my hair. I have some kind of 60s bouffant thing going on. This was not the look I was going for today, but seeing as how I will not keep my hands out of my hair, it won't look like this in 10 minutes. Anyway, so this is an overview. It's a mix of high and low end, so I think there's something in here for everyone. Of course, let's remember that I am maybe the whitest person on the planet, so what looks good on me might not look great on you, the viewer, if you have a different skin tone, but I can give you some impressions about the finish and texture and the longevity of the blush. So if it's a company thing, maybe you can find something from your from these same companies that fit your skin tone. So one of the, the oldest blush that I still have in my collection is by Elizabeth Arden and it's called Sugar Plum and it's definitely time for it to go bye bye but um, I think this is a color that's a universally flattering shade which everybody has some version of this in their makeup palette somewhere and it's just a uh, soft plummy neutral warm flushy color so it's great I have nothing against it I still use it from time to time uh, I branched out a little bit, but looking over my collection, I haven't branched out very much. The next oldest one that I have is the only MAC blush I own, and it's called Buff, and I've talked about this before, and this thing has popped out a bunch of times, so it's not, it's not on right, and I've hit pan and could totally bring back to MAC this. And looking at it, it's quite similar to Sugar Plum. This one's a little browner, but I have never been very brave with my blushes. So again, this is a great beginner if you're really into MAC and you don't know what uh, to buy. This goes with everything. Every skin tone, I think, this is a very flattering, almost every skin tone, very flattering shape. Then um, another oldie but goodie and my most um, not like me. It's so old it doesn't have a label anymore and I, I showed this in a video as well. It's by Aveda. It's their old packaging and it's this peachy tone. Um, I mean, it's so old it doesn't even really... It doesn't even pay. There's no payoff. There's no pigment left in this thing. And um, it's peachy, more warm peach tone. So then I have one, only one cream blush. Uh, and it's funny, I picked this up before I started watching videos on YouTube. I had no idea I was actually getting something that was um, trendy. It's the Maybelline Dream Mousse Blush, and it's in peach satin. It's definitely your peachy pink color. And um, I've just never, I mean, it's getting old and dry, but I've never had much luck with cream blush yet. There it is. It's very soft. It's, it's great. You, you would need to cover this with something. It doesn't last very long. You have to go over it with a similar shade in a powder. And um, I think it's great for younger skin, um, who want a softer look. Uh, I just don't have the patience to work with a cream blush, so I haven't been a big fan. But it's a great it's a great color and lots of people love it for very good reason. Then most of everything else here is fairly recent, all influenced by YouTube videos. So um, one of the first things I picked up was um, e.l.f. I got this at my Target for three dollars and you can also get it online. It's the Contouring Blush and Bronzing Powder and these are supposed to be dupes for NARS. This is um, supposed to be a dupe for NARS Laguna. This is the bronzer. And then this is supposed to be a dupe for NARS Orgasm as the blush. And I use this pretty religiously all throughout last summer and haven't hit pan on it. It's a nice peachy pink with a hint of gold sparkle to it, but very subtle. Nothing that, obviously you would blend that. I mean, you wouldn't put that on your face. So it blends very easily. I feel like it's very long wearing. It's a great value for your money, $3. To compare that to the real NARS, which of course I had to get. So here's the real NARS. Very similar packaging. Uh, it's not a dead-on. I'm going to blind you now. Let's see if I can do this. It's not dead-on, but they are similar enough. They are similar enough that unless someone is examining you under a microscope, they're not going to know the difference. So, is it worth it to get the $20-something NARS versus the $3 ELF? No. Unless you just like collecting for collecting's sake. Obviously, that's different. 
Then, this is technically a bronzer. This little palette, this 4-in-1, it's their Golden Bronzer by Ice Lips Face Elf. I've used just this shade as a blush before, quite a bit. Um, or I've swirled it around and used it as just a blush. And again, this was $3 at Target, so great value. And since we're still talking about e.l.f., I did pick up two e.l.f. blushes that are in the smaller packages that are, I mean, other than this little window, hello, same size and everything as NARS. NARS is very expensive. E.l.f. is not. I love the Candid Coral. I think this might be a better dupe. It's... It is what it is. They're all peach, they're all pinky pinky shades. I am I'm pretty consistent in what I like to wear. So this is a great coral, candid coral. And this isn't doesn't look much different. This is called tickled pink. So this is a little cooler, this is a little warmer. They're both great colors. They go on very well. They for me, I have no problem blending them. I like them. Then I went into the high end stuff again. And I got Smashbox. This is Blush, Rush, and Flush. This was completely influenced by Makeup by Tiffany D. I watched her rave about it and bought it. And it's it's cute. The packaging is kind of rubbery and um, it swivels out. And you get this nice little mirror, which I don't know how many people travel with their blush. I don't. But, you know, like in their purse, that's not for me. And then it, it is a little trickier to open. And it has this, um, it's a softer look. And it's definitely pink, and there's a hint of shimmer. It's almost like a satin finish. It's much smoother than the e.l.f. It's much creamier, and it's much easier to blend. I will give you that. And it's just a soft wash of color. I mean, you can, you can build it up and make yourself look like a clown if that's the look you want, but most of us don't, so this is very definitely easy to work with. But I find I don't reach for it as much as some of my other ones. Two of my favorites. Um, this is an old one. This is called Pin Up by Hard Candy. It's a marbleized blush, crush, baked blush. Blush, crush, baked blush. And actually, if you're very fair skin toned, you could use it as a blush. I've used this as a highlight, really. It's a little too shimmery and washed out for me to use as a blush. But it is technically a blush. Now the blush that I've used as a blush, another one from that line. This one I've talked about. It got its own video. Honeymoon. This gorgeous peachy pink. Sorry, never can tell what's going to set them off. This one I talked about at length in its own video, so if you want to know more, look it up. It's Hard Candy Honeymoon, and I use this a lot right now. This is one of my favorites. Two more favorites from NYX. This one I've also talked about. This one is Stone, and this is um, like a. It's brown. It's just a brown blush and it's great for contouring and it's great for a blush. It's very, you can, if you want to have minimal, oh my gosh, one of my dogs just tooted. I don't know if that came up on camera. Bosley, you're supposed to say excuse me. <laughs> great for a natural look, uh, especially on a slightly more medium skin tone. I think this would be great. And then one that I just picked up about a week or so ago is Angel. And I really, I'm covered in blush now, but it's very soft and it's very pink and it reminds me a lot from what I have seen uh, to Max Well Dressed. My only complaint with the NYX shadows is that they're very soft. So when you dip your brush in them, you get powder everywhere. But I do like them and they are a great value for the money. Then um, one more, a couple more things I wanted to show. When I first got into YouTube and really started watching a lot of videos and was just fascinated by this whole world of makeup that I had known nothing about, I wanted to try a lot of blushes. but they can get expensive and I wanted something quick that I could play with and decide what I wanted and so um, I think this is still I don't know if it's still on the website I should have checked before I'm sure they have some version of it this is by Coastal Scents it's the 10 color blush palette it was about I want to say $15 and it's a great deal because it gives you such a range of colors some of these look quite scary but actually like this um, I've actually worn every single one of them once you put something I mean Yes, by itself, crazy. But once you sheer it out on your skin, it's not bad. If you're tan, it looks great. Um, this is fun because you can really play with color with this and um, find what looks good on you. And then if you really like a color, you can maybe find one that's a better formulation. Some of these are a little chalky. 
I don't think that the the pigmentation is fine for most of them some of them better than others and um, I don't know how long wearing they are but this is a great way to experiment with color and find a color that you like that maybe you, you didn't want to commit to until you knew for sure and then when your friends come over and play you, you have this to play with and the last three blushes is all the fault of Ruth a model recommends this is all her fault because I discovered her I don't know, somebody recommended her to me and then I started watching her videos and I, I have I have to admit I have a bit of a girl crush going here and um, she's been doing a lot with Estee Lauder. <laughs> anyway, she had been doing talking a lot about her natural look and what she wears to castings and I'm not a model, obviously, anyone watching can see that, but I've always been fascinated by what do models really wear when it's not what someone else is putting on them but what they choose to put on their own faces and if a model likes it then a normal person should like it too because they've been exposed to all the brands and everything and so if that's what they're choosing to spend their own money on it must be worth looking into so the first thing that she talked about was nude nuance but I couldn't find it it was discontinued so I went to Estee Lauder I go there anyway as you all know if you watch me you know I'm in love with their um, foundation and I bought what what they put out to replace it which is this true sand color which I have to admit is very similar now that I look at it to NYX's stone. This is a touch lighter. Great color. You can use it just as a contour. You can use it as a blush. It's very versatile and I like it. Then a couple weeks ago I made a trip to the CCO and which is a cosmetics company company cosmetics outlet. It's an outlet store for all the brands owned by Estee Lauder which includes MAC by the way. And I found new nuance. Yay! And I love this. I'm not wearing this actually but I love this because it has this gradation of colors. So if I want a little lighter, I go on this side. I want a little darker, I have a highlight option. I can swirl it all together. It gives a very subtle sheen, not glittery. Great for contouring, great for just blush. Love it. And then while I was there, I found Peach Nuance. Same concept. It's that ombre gradation, kind of light to dark. And I've been looking for that cool tone blush, which I had hoped to find with Honeymoon, and I really found it with Peach Nuance. It's just gorgeous. It's a beautiful shade. If you do just this side, much more cool tone. Obviously, if you do that side, much more peach. Rub it together, and you have the perfect color. It's great, great. I love the Nuance line. I'm sorry Estee Lauder is discontinuing it. I have no idea why. They also have a Plum Nuance, which I felt like I'm kind of covered on the plums. And just so you know, I have Angel on right now. No contouring. That's Angel. I do have some bronzer on. I know it doesn't look like it, but I do. So I'm wearing Angel. And I hope that helps some of you if you're searching for some blushes. Um, those are all the blushes that I own. If I had to pick um, a favorite, if I had to pick a top three, I would pick... Mm, I would pick... What would I pick? Oh my gosh, there's so many to pick. I would pick Nude Nuance, definitely love it, it's just so versatile. I could go on vacation and only take this. I would pick, oh, there's so many good ones. I would probably pick this NYX that I have on, this Angel. Again, it's very soft pink and very buildable and very, at the same time, neutral. And, ooh, I think I would probably pick, no, I know I would because I've done it, Candid Coral by e.l.f. So even though I've got quite the mix of high and low, at the end of the day, two out of the three are $5 and $3. And then this retails, I think, for about 18 20 somewhere in that range. So, well, that's it for blushes. And if you'd like to know about any of my other collections, please let me know. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.